Welcome. Today, we'll be discussing how can we create equations for a line. So what do we need to create a line? If we have two points, let's call it x1, y1, and let's call it x2, y2. Once we have those two points, we can just connect them. So one possible way to create a line is to have two points. Another way that we can also create a line is for us to just have a point. Let's call it x1, y1. And to also know the slope of the line. Because if we know the slope of the line, we can use that slope to have a direction. And if we have the direction, we can identify other points that we can connect to also create a line. So we can say that all we needed also was just the point and the slope of the line. So now that we have a visual interpretation of what is needed to create a line, now let's discuss the possible equations that we can define for a line. So there are two ways to write a linear equation. The first form that we have is a slope intercept form. The way that we define it is y equals mx plus b. If we want to use this form to define a line, there are only two values that we need to know. And that is m and that is b. Where m represents the slope of the line and b represents the y-intercept of the line. The second form that we have is the point slope form. And it has the following form y minus y1 equals m, parenthesis x minus x1. What we need, if we want to use the slope intercept form, we need three values. We need the value of m, we need the value of x1, and we need the value of y1, where m is still the slope of the line. And x1, y1 is just a point in the line. Now, these two forms will give you the equation of a line. But when do you know which equation you need to use, depending on what you have? If you have the slope and the y-intercept, then we use the slope-intercept form. If you have the slope of a line and you have a point in the line, then we use the point slope form. But don't forget that slope is defined as y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now let's put this into practice. Let's take a look at some examples. The objective is that we want to create an equation for a line. Notice what we have. We have the value of the slope and we have the value of the y-intercept. So we can use the slope-intercept form. which remember that is defined as y equals mx plus b. Notice that what we need for this equation is the value of the slope, which we have it as negative 2, 7, and we need the value of the y-intercept, which we have it as 2. So all we got to do is just plug in these values within this form. Notice that we could also use the point slope form. Let's remember the format. Because in addition, if we know that the y-intercept has a value of 2, that's also a coordinate point. That coordinate point will be of the value 0, comma, 2. They notice that the value of the slope is negative 2, 7, and the value of the coordinate point is 0, comma, 2. Now we can plug that into our equation. So m negative 2, 7, and y1, x1, 0, comma, 2. We can simplify it a little bit further. We can distribute 
to both sides. And then we can add two. Notice that we end up with the same equation. Let's take a look at an additional problem. So here what we are given is the value of both intercepts, the x-intercept at negative two and the y-intercept at seven. The x-intercept, it's a coordinate point. So if the x-intercept is equivalent to negative two, then we have a coordinate point at negative two, zero. If the y-intercept is seven, then we have a coordinate point at zero comma seven. Now, regardless of which form you want to use, both forms need the slope of the line. So let's find the slope with this. Let's just plug in our values. So we got zero minus seven divided by negative two minus seven, negative seven over negative two, which is just seven over two. Now that we have the slope, now we got to decide which form we want to use. Let's actually show both forms. Remember that this is y equals mx plus b. Remember that this is y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1. Let's do the slope intercept form first. Well, we need the value of m and we need the value of b. Well, m is the slope, which we have it as 7 over 2. And b is the y intercept, which notice that we have it as 7. So now it's just a matter of plugging in our values. So for m, let's plug it in as 7 over 2. And for b, let's plug it in as 7. So we're done. Now let's use the point slope form. We need the value of m, we need the value of y1, we need the value of x1. Let's start with m. Well, m doesn't change. m is still 7 over 2. Now remember that x1 and y1, that's a coordinate point. That's good for us because we actually have two coordinate points in this line. So we only need to choose one of those two. I'm going to choose 0, 7. Now that we have that information, it's just a matter of plugging it in. M will have a value of 7 over 2. And x1, y1 will have a value of 0, 7. So let's plug in our values so that we have y minus 7 equals 7 over 2, x minus 0. Then we can simplify. We can start by distributing this. And then let's finish up by adding 7. So regardless of which form we use, we always end up with the same equation. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.